Hello and welcome to a new video. This is WDAW to Wing, a way to remote control a wing from a DAW slash MCU surface. So I have here a screen showing my uh, PC and uh, just launched the application. Wing. I have selected a DAW surface using a single MCU and the controls, which are the wheel and the four buttons. So I enter DAW mode with that wing, which means that I have this section here and these elements here of interest to me. And there's nothing written on that screen because the program has been launched without any options. Now I can actually change the settings just by using the wheel and those buttons. This is to change the device. Uh, so I have only one device here, but I could have two or three. And I have those two buttons here, which are enabling uh, an offset within this area. So what happens here is basically this MCU device, which is my DAW control on my wing, is remote controlling another area of my wing, uh, which happens to be this section. So this is sending and receiving MIDI information from my program, and this is sending and receiving Ethernet information from my program as well, which means that when I send some MIDI information from that section, it will go to the program, which will make its magic, and come back to this section. So I'm selecting a mode which says that on device one, I'm mapping this eight faders to the channel section, and I have an offset of zero, which you probably uh, didn't see, but there is an offset of zero. So when I'm moving these faders, I'm expecting those faders to move, which is the case, okay? Now what's good is also when I move those faders on the remote wing, the faders actually move back on the DAW section, okay? I can select a different area of my remote wing just by using the wheel. I'm gonna be selecting the bus sections. So these faders are going to go back to zero. And if I move those four in the middle, and I go now into the bus section, you will see that those faders reflect whatever has been set here, as well as, you know, it comes back this way. Um, so this is a very nice setup. And you could actually notice also, going back to channels, that I had a channel with a name here. And that corresponds to whatever is on this area here, which I can change, you know, directly by going to the names and um, let's say removing the QART, which is here, and changing it to whatever uh, the outer wing. Or if I prefer, I can remove also, I can add, you know, a space, um, which will create. Um, a second line on the MCU surface. So these are all options that are available. Um, and you can control on the remote wing pretty much any faders, whether they are direct channel, bus, auxiliary, matrices, uh, DCA, main faders, or you can also uh, control any of the sands. You can control the channel, sending to buses, you can control the auxiliary sending to buses, the buses to buses, the um, mains to matrices, and so on. So all the controls are available and selectable from this wheel, you know, directly on the DOS surface. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.